<laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. All right. I know everyone's at, like, just we have one more demo uh, before we have a little bit of break. Um, so this next demo is called Love UT. It's a dating site for U of T students. Uh, this was developed by uh, Lori Lee uh, and Andrew Danks, who are both uh, students in computer science. So I'll let them uh, tell you about Love UT. school and for that reason it can be pretty difficult to meet new friends and to discover a new relationship. Lori and I are here this evening to present a solution, Love at U of T, an easy to use service that's open to all orientations. We already have about 800 members in just about 10 weeks. So no matter which college, campus, or program, it is our goal to make as many U of T students reachable to you. But we already have Facebook. So why would we need Love at U of T? Well, Facebook isn't designed for meeting new people. Facebook is designed for connecting you to people you already know. And now Lori's going to show you some of our main features, and you'll definitely see the difference. Hey guys. Um, so I'm just going to show you um, a typical case of how somebody might use our service. So when I log in, I can see all of the newest members that have joined the site. Um, I can also see people who have checked me out recently. Um, <laughs> gender, eye color, hair color, program. Um, so suppose that I'm in my second year, and I've had some trouble finding friends. And I'd like to meet somebody who's in my program that I can maybe hang out with and work on assignments with. <laughs> so for someone who's in computer science on the St. George campus. Um, so I'm just going to click on this profile and I can see some of his hobbies and interests. Um, the latest course that he's taken, the best course he's taken. He seems like a cool person, so I'm gonna send him a message. <laughs> and so now he'll get an email in his inbox telling him that I sent this message. Um, so suppose I'm someone who's looking for a romantic relationship, um, dating, So I'm going to search for a male who is single, around my age, and doesn't smoke. <laughs> Smoking's bad for you. Favorite. 
And that will remind me later on. See you for that. And send me a message. Um, so these are some of the main features of our site. Uh, we have a couple more that are in development, which Andrew will now tell you about. <laughs> so as you can see, we have a pretty rich feature set. And so how can we make this even better? Well, one thing we'd like to do is add Facebook integration. And what would we do with that? Well, wouldn't it be great if I know, a larger portion of our users have profile pictures? So if we had Facebook integration, our users would be able to sync their profile picture with their Facebook profile picture. And if more people have profile pictures, their, their profiles get more hits. Their profiles get more hits, they get more messages. If there are more messages being sent, it means there's going to be more meetups, and that is exactly what we want to see, because that makes our service more successful. Second, imagine yourself on someone's profile, and you're really interested in them, but you don't really know what to say. You're not, you, know, you don't know how to break the ice. So wouldn't it be great if you can somehow send them some, send them some sort of expression you know, that indicates something like, hey, I'm interested in you, or hey, I'd like to meet up with you, without actually sending that message. These are just two of the many features that we're planning on implementing. And as for the long run, we would like to bring Love at U of T onto the mobile platform and license our code to other universities. Um, we've been very happy with our success so far, and we'd be happy to answer any of your questions.